50 years ago today, MLK, or Martin Luther King, for those of you who are not familiar with the abbreviation of his name, delivered a speech called Beyond Vietnam. And in that address, he expressed his opposition to the then ongoing Vietnam War and also connected to the civil rights movement. You've had some commentators come forward and say it's his best address, and it is a very pivotal pivotal time within his life as he was assassinated on the anniversary of the address the following year, which sounds redundant. Anniversary following, you get what I'm saying. So the historical significance of it, well, as I just said, it was considered one of, you know, one of, if not his greatest speech, but also it caused a level of discontent between him and the Johnson administration, who he had allied with in the past. And sure enough, you did not hear nor can recall nor read about any time MLK met with LBJ following that speech. So it, it that alone should show anyone who's, you know, kind of wondering what are the ramifications of it, that this was something that just divided him and the current president, as well as members of his administration. But you have to really give props to Martin Luther King for basically saying that he had more political courage than a lot of people that were, you know, had stakes and things they could lose from this. He could have lost the Civil Rights Act and any further legislation brought upon by the president. You know, if Johnson wanted to be spiteful, he could have done that. But you, from just knowing that fact alone, that Johnson had the power to just say, all right, forget it to all of the different proposals that could have come out after that point, really shows you how truthfully and just honestly the opposition within MLK's heart to this war was. And, you know, you see it today with these current um, political figures, such as Rubio, who said beforehand that he was going to forego his Senate campaign during his presidential run. But after the presidential run and a day after the Orlando shooting from last year, says, oh, I just want to, you know, be helpful. It's hard for me, to, but also notice no new policies towards gun control or doing something to actually prevent this from happening again. Those are the kind of events that would convince you that in the modern day times, people who are considered leaders, such as senators or governors, do not care and will use things that are tragic for political expediency such as Trump using the widow of Owens, um, who died in January of this year at his joint address to Congress. So you, you have to give King props for what he displayed, but in, you can come to that conclusion, as I've come to that conclusion, by looking at the different uh, points in time where people have said a, a day after or, you know, had somebody somewhere, oh, yes, I'm going to do this about this. He didn't have a, a gain in his body other than for people that looked like him and for people that didn't look like him. And I really appreciate that about him, and I think everybody should. And, and I'm so glad that every state celebrates his holiday. That's someone who, time and time again, I'm reminded of why we have one. Thank you for watching and have a good day.